and one such value is called the F measure. And uh, ignore this complicated formula here. Let's say that P is the precision and R is the recall. The F measure is the harmonic mean between the precision and the recall. Right, so it's just 2PR divided by P plus R. So what is the harmonic mean of two numbers, P and R? It's basically, so to calculate the harmonic mean, you take the reciprocal of the two numbers, 1 by P and 1 by R. Then you take their average and then you invert the average. Okay, that is you take the reciprocal. So the average here is P plus R divided by 2PR and if you invert this you get 2PR divided by P plus R. So you may have done this in your school, right? You have the harmonic mean, you have the geometric mean, and then you have the arithmetic mean. The harmonic mean is given by this formula. The arithmetic mean is given by the average, of course, and the geometric mean is So if you recall from the last uh, lecture, we had two or three different scores that we combined by just adding them together. Right? So you may ask, why couldn't we do something like that here too? Why not just add the precision and recall? I mean, it doesn't matter whether you divide by two or not. Why not just add precision and recall and then treat it as a single measure? So what is the advantage that the harmonic mean is offering over the arithmetic mean? Why not use this? Why go for this kind of a more complicated formula? By the way, do you remember the relationship between these three? Which of them is the largest? Which of them is the largest? Which of them is the smallest? There's a well-defined relationship between these three. Sir, AM is the largest. And uh, yeah. GM is the smallest. Okay, so you're saying this is the largest and this is the smallest? Yes, sir. Okay, so we can easily prove that AM is greater than GM because to do that, we just need to prove that P plus R by 2 is greater than the square root of PR, which is easy to prove because we can multiply both sides by 2. So we need to prove that P plus R is greater than 2PR. We can bring this. Bring this. We, need this. we need to prove this. And we can <coughs> treat P as square root of R and treat R as R. And this is minus 5 square root of 3 times square root of 3. A square minus. And so we can use the simple algebraic algebra. A minus A square plus A square plus A. And this obviously greater than 0. Now, so is the GM less than the HM or greater than the HM? So 
So GM is less than HM. Okay, let's try to prove that. Uh, we are saying the square root of PR is less than If you cancel square root of PR over here, you'll get 1 is less than twice of square root of PR divided by P plus R. Now you can see that this is not true because if I, if I bring it here, P plus R is less than twice of square root of P, PR. This will be true if P plus R minus twice of the square root of PR is less than zero. But we just saw that this is greater than zero. Right, so the sign is actually the reverse. The geometric mean in turn is greater than the harmonic mean. Right, if you invert the sign, then it becomes valid. So the arithmetic mean is greater than the geometric mean, which is greater than the harmonic mean. So the harmonic mean is the smallest among these three measures. And it turns out that if you have a system where the precision value is very low and the recall value is very high, the arithmetic mean will be intermediate between the very low value and the very high value. So it will be somewhere in the interim range. But the harmonic mean will be much closer to the smaller value. It will be very close to the minimum of the two. So if the precision is very low or the recall is very low, the value of the harmonic mean will also be very low. Whereas the, arith the value of the arithmetic mean will be reasonably high. And what we want to do is, if the precision becomes too low, or if the recall becomes too low, we want to penalize that search engine pretty highly. We don't want, if we use the arithmetic mean, then, you know, that won't happen. We won't be penalizing it because, uh, like a search engine which returns every single document, will have a recall of one. And so the, arithmetic mean will be uh, close to 0.5 right because r will be 1 and precision will be very you know very small so this will be close to 0.5 whereas if we look at the harmonic mean for uh, uh, if we combine the precision and recall for that search engine using the harmonic mean then because the precision is very low this value will end up being very low. So that's why we prefer the harmonic mean because again it works well uh, in practice. And actually we could have used uh, not just the arithmetic, geometric and harmonic mean but you know two other possibilities are you take the maximum of the two or the minimum of the two but again you know this is not this is not a uh, uh, a good enough uh, uh, metric because we want to really combine the two scores rather than just focus on one of the two so here you can see uh, a plot of the precision values with the recall fixed at 70 percent. Okay, so if we fix the recall at 70 percent, how will the F score vary if the formula for it, of course the formula for the F score is based on the harmonic mean, 
But let's say we combine the precision and recall using a formula. Min of the two, max of the two, arithmetic mean of the two, geometric mean of the two, or harmonic mean of the two. Okay, so this is the combined score, you can say. The combined precision and recall score. This is just the individual precision score. And we, if we see how the combined score varies as we vary the precision score for a fixed value of recall, which is 0.7, then you get these five curves. And what you see here is the arithmetic mean, as you can see, is this straight line, right? Because the arithmetic mean will be precision plus 0.7 divided by 2. Right, and that will be this line. The harmonic mean is this brown curve over here, which will be p twice p times 0.7 divided by p plus 0.7. And you can see that for low values of precision, for values that are close to zero, the harmonic mean is also close to zero, whereas the arithmetic mean still remains pretty high. So uh, you can likewise explore a couple of other uh, uh, plots here. This is the maximum of the two. Okay, so as long as the precision remains less than 70%, the recall will be higher because the recall value is 70%. And so this remains 70%. But as the precision rises above 70%, this takes off. And the minimum behaves in the opposite way. Less than, uh, for values of precision less than 70%, it will be equal to the precision. And for values of precision more than 70%, it will be equal to the recall value, which is 70%. And the geometric mean behaves in a way that is intermediate between precision and recall. So in general, we prefer the harmonic mean because we want to bias the score. We want to avoid the extremes. We want to avoid extremely high, uh, sorry, we want to ext avoid extremely low precision and we want to avoid extremely low recall. And so if the values start becoming too low, we want to make sure that we quickly, uh, uh, that, that our combined score will be quickly zoning in towards zero. So among these three, we prefer the harmonic mean. Any questions about this? So this is what we, you will use if you know the overall precision and the overall recall. Okay, so uh, note that this is, this is not for ranked results. Okay, this is if you know the overall precision over all documents and the overall recall, this is ranking independent. Even if you're not doing ranking, you can use this kind of a measure. But of course, if you add ranked retrieval, then you will have to focus not just on the final values of precision and recall at the end of, uh, you know, after you've looked at all the documents that have been returned to you, but you also want to focus on the subset of documents that are appearing near the top. Right, and that will require a different approach. And we were looking at that approach before the break where we focus on just the top 10 or 20 documents. But we actually didn't formalize this. So can you come up with an intuitive way of uh, evaluating two search engines that rank their results and you're focusing on the top 10 or the top 20 documents? What sort of uh, score, uh, think of the simplest possible score that you can come up with. By the way, do you have any questions about this? Uh, bef I mean, before answering this question, make sure that you understood. Uh, Uh, 
still in the uh, like if you are retrieving uh, k results the first k results in the uh, ranked system mm -hmm. uh, so like we had that relevance i mean i'm j just guessing like like we had the human people deciding uh, how re whether it's relevant or not mm -hmm. uh, we could also have somebody decide how relevant it is and uh, then see if the f the ones which we retrieve are actually the ones which are the most relevant or something like that uh, so for the purpose of this uh, lecture let's just assume that we are going to make a binary assessment only that it's either relevant or it's not relevant so we're not going to look at degrees of relevance okay so the idea is that if a search engine is ranking its documents properly then you should not find irrelevant documents in the top k or you should find very few of them 